Now that we know the graphs of a parabola and the special parts of a parabola, now let's start to write the equation of a parabola given its parts. So in our first example, we need to find the equation of the parabola with vertex at the point of origin and the focus at 2, 0. Now the first step in analyzing any conic sections is to uh, sketch the graph of the given parts in the question. And in this case, the given parts will be the vertex and the focus. So since the vertex is at the point of origin, which means vertex is at 0, 0, and focus is at 2, 0, if we sketch the graph of this particular parabola, this will be the look of your parabola. Vertex at 0, and your focus is at 2, Zero. Now you know that the parabola is opening to the right because you just follow where the direction of your focus is because it basically envelops the um, parabola from your focus. Now the next thing that you need to do is to pick the correct formula to use in our parabola. Remember, we have two sets of formula for the standard equation of parabola. We have this equation and we have the other equation. Now since we know that the parabola is opening sideways, we're going to pick this equation for our parabola, which is y minus k squared equal to 4px minus h. So all we need to do now is to replace the values in our equation, and in this case, we will replace k and h, which is basically your vertex, and we need to find the p-value. Now, the p-value is the distance of your focus from the vertex. So all you need to do now, since you already sketched the graph of your parabola, is to count the number of units of your vertex away from the focus. And in this case, we have one, two units away from the vertex to your focus. And since the parabola is opening to the right, we know that the p-value is positive. So by direct substitution, k is equal to 0, h is equal to 0, and p is equal to 2, so therefore we have y minus 0 squared equal to 4 times 2x minus 0. Now to further simplify your equation, you'll have y minus 0 squared equal to 8 times x minus 0. Since we only have 0 here by y and x, we can just get rid of it, and we can write it out as y squared equal to 8x. And this is the equation of your parabola given its vertex and its point of origin. Now what if our vertex is no longer at the point of origin? How are we going to graph, the, I mean, how are we going to write the standard equation of that particular parabola? And here's that equation, or or example wherein our parabola is no longer has the vertex at the point of the origin. So we need to find the equation of the parabola with the vertex at 2, 1 and focus at 2, 4. But this time we need to write two equations and that's the standard equation and the general equation. Now since we have the vertex and the focus which is similar to example number one but the vertex is no longer at the point of origins. So the first step is to organize the given parts in the problem. So we have the vertex and the focus and then we can sketch the graph of our parabola. So this is the sketch of your parabola given the vertex and its focus. So this is your vertex at 2, 1 and your focus at 2 and 4. Now your p-value is just the number of units of your vertex away from the focus. So all you need to do is to count the number of units from the vertex to the focus, and it's equal to 3. After you sketch the graph, it's just direct substitution now. But the question is, which between the two formula will you use? And in this case, since the parabola is opening vertically, we'll use this formula, x minus h squared is equal to 4p, y minus k. So since we chose the correct formula for our parabola, it's all direct substitution. So we can replace h, p, and k based on our sketch. So h is equal to 2, k is equal to 1, based on the vertex of our parabola, and the p value is the distance of the vertex to the focus, which is 3 units. By simplifying it, we have the standard equation of the parabola, which is equal to x minus 2 squared equal to 12 times y minus 1. Now the general form of the parabola is basically equating your equation to zero. And to do that, you just have to distribute 12 to y minus 1 and expand x minus 2 squared. So we'll have x squared minus 4x plus 4 equal to 12y minus 12. So we need to equate it to zero. So we need to put 12y and negative 12 on the other side of your equation. So 
add 12 on both sides, and you'll get x squared minus 4x plus 16. Then subtract 12y on both sides, and you'll have x squared minus 4x minus 12y plus 16 equal to 0. And this is the general form of the equation of your parabola. So now we have the standard equation, and we also have the general equation of the parabola.